Good morning or afternoon. I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to watch this. Uh, this is just a, a show of uh, the bus and everything that I've done with it so far. So not the prettiest of environments, but uh, I keep my bus at um, Metro Self Storage and it works out just perfect. So uh, I'm just gonna go as quickly as possible. Uh, you can see some of my other YouTube videos on what I've done with the bus um, on Instagram. You can see all the photos that I've taken so far. Um, so obviously blue and white. Um, and this will be sort of out of order, uh, so just forgive me for that, but uh, I'll just point out some of the things that I've added, changed, modified, um, and we'll go from there. So on both sides I've got floodlights, and I'll show you the switch inside for that. Um, obviously diesel. Brand new tires on the back, so very good tread. So four new tires for the back. The two front tires, uh, they're still good. Um, still pretty deep tread on the front tires. Um, brakes are excellent. I got new brake lines for those not too long ago. Um, this was the most recent addition to the bus, uh, AC unit for the back. Heat just sort of trapped in the back, so I just added that. That was a really cheap addition. Uh, I just didn't paint it, so that needs to be painted. Uh, water inlet, and we'll talk about um, the water system in just a little while. Added a full back porch. So this is about like uh, three and a half feet by seven feet, give or take. Um, bolted in to the tops there. Rear view camera, which we'll talk about a little later. Generator with two AC cords going inside and I'll show you where those go. Um, this was sort of the original setup this uh, chain system. I just left it, you know, sort of a safety chain. <clears throat> Exterior shower, which works very well. It's very handy. Um, this is your uh, one option for electrical input, uh, 120. This is a vent for the battery box. I'll show you the battery box. This is a pump for the coolant for the rear heater, which was removed. So there's no rear heater, but I still left this here just because it's a, it's a pump and it could be used for anything. So I just left it there. And if I wanted to do something with it in the future, I could. Um, electrical really didn't touch that much. I just removed the um, stop and check child system. Uh, pulled that out so it's not beeping every time I open a door or whatever. Battery, this is a um, fairly new battery. I feel like it's nine months old, something like that. So, good battery there. Go ahead and open up the hood. Yeah. So, engine's very good. Um, you know, get some get some haters online that say they don't like the uh, type engine it is, which is fine. Um, but it's worked out really, really well. Very strong, powerful motor. Uh, I've not had any problems. Uh, one issue I did have was like a small coolant leak with the coolant tank. So that's a high pressure tank. Uh, haven't had any issues. And it's been over a year with that. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna go up top and show you part of the solar. Yeah. Good old Captain Ron. So I've got one solar panel, so 360 watt panel. And that is the uh, sunroof um, over there. And I'll show you that from the inside. That's how you get on the on the deck. So it's sort of, a, it's a full deck. It covers the entire length and width of the bus. So I think it's like 20 by seven and a half, 20 by seven. So a lot of real estate you can, you can get up here and, you know, have a little, have a little party. So, uh, stop the video and go inside. All right. So we are inside. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go in any specific order. I'm just going to sort of point things out as I go through it. So when you enter here is the bus. It took about, I don't know, 
it's hard to say how long it took to complete it because uh, I was working one to three hours a night. Um, I had two two infants at the time, twin boys, so I'd just come out when they went to sleep and you know piddled around for one to three hours a night for you know four or five nights. So maybe about four to six months, and then like any passion project, it just continues to grow and you just add things and modify. So uh, front door is an actual door. Um, pulled the panel out, added the, uh, the glass in here. Um, and it's, it's plexi. I have one lock here. This is a second. Um, but this is your deadbolt. So that'll obviously keep it from opening up a lot of storage underneath these seats. So probably some stuff I just need to toss, but, um, there's that throughout the bus. I've got AC and DC. I think there's about six to eight um, per ready to be used for whatever. Um, so that's your DC. Um, I have four Kenwood speakers for surround sound. One, two, there's three there and then four right there for all the seating. Four shuttle seats on the left two child seats with child restraints on the right hand side because I've got twin boys I put in a second captain's chair uh, with seatbelt there's the newer captain's chair added some stuff in here cup holder uh, phone charger backup camera That's a three foot mark and a 10 foot mark, or wait, no, five and 10. So when you're backing up, you'll know how far you are from the deck. Okay. Uh, original fans still work. Added this in here. So you got some more charging. And then up top, one and up two. Plenty of storage area. And I guess this is called the bulkhead. Uh, forgive me for the hissing. It is like 36 degrees, so I've got the heater going. Normally it doesn't stay there. I'll bungee cord it, like right about here. It'll stay. It's not going anywhere. Plenty of storage area up top. And I kept four of the original lights from the bus, which you hit the switch. And let's see, one behind me, two three in the bathroom and then four in the back corner. This kitchenette, I love this kitchenette. Originally I had, this was double the size, but once I figured, all right, I've got more kids coming. Uh, let me just cut this in half, added that. And this is fine for me. I always thought I'd, I'd be cooking more than I actually did, but I do not. Storage underneath for kitchen stuff, more storage. You cannot go wrong with extra storage. I, I went with a computer so that I can, if I needed to, uh, access the internet um, through a landline. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just, it was a cheap option to play movies through uh, with DVDs. Um, I have one monitor there and a splitter with a cord that runs up to here. I pulled the second monitor out because uh, I'm, I'm an editor, so I had to use this monitor. But there was a monitor that went here for the kids that sat there. So running water uh, for here and the bathroom, I'll show you in a second. Um, more uh, AC can never have too much power. Additional storage up top. So these are child seats with child restraints there. Um, the heater is on top of the battery box. Sure, that's safe. Uh, I have four 6-volt in series and parallel for a 12-volt system. You'll see there's another AC outlet right there. There's an AC outlet up there. Here are my kid um, bunk beds. And that's also how you get up to the roof. So this is a really thick plexi. Um, real cheap lock 
shaft system. There. Hello. I like that there, because you can dress yourself. Uh, Victron um, um, battery monitor. Switch. Hang on, I'm gonna burn myself. <laughs> Sorry. Um, switch for the water pump. See that? So I left all the valves open because you know it's it's freezing. So uh, I wanted to keep this on its own um, switch because. God forbid there's a leak, I want to be able to shut it off and not have it be automatic. I saw a YouTube video, the guy the guy did it this way, I thought that's brilliant. So when I want water, I turn this on and I turn it off when I'm leaving, you know, leaving for the day or whatever. I have uh, dimmer switches, I have four of them. One, underneath, two, three is actually in that, uh, Cubby, which I'll show you in a second. And then four by the bed. Okay, so those are off. Smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector. I will not press those, but those do work. Switch for the floodlights. There's two on one side, two on the other. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Um, like I said, bunk beds for the boys. I took their mattresses out. I do have mattresses. Uh, if you wanted to keep them, that's fine. Um, but I went on a trip. I had to use them for a separate little dealio. Storage and water underneath. This bed flips down. I'll show you that in a second. But I'll go into this electrical cabinet here. Solar and electrical. So I've got an Ames power. I think that's a 2700 watt something about 2700 watt uh, inverter charger very beautiful machine i love it so much uh ac breaker box dc and all the wires a uh, little bit of a spaghetti cluster um smart what is it called smart solar charge controller shutoffs uh so that is now on, but it was like 97%. So I'm just going to turn that off. Uh, breaker, uh, sorry, breaker right there. Uh, shut off there. Positive and um, uh, negative terminals, terminal blocks. Uh, so the lights. Um, I wired for two, uh, how many did I do? Yeah, two panels. I only used one panel. So you see those coming in there. I only used one panel, but I wired for two. So basically there's there's another set of wires uh, above the uh, roof, but below the deck. So they're just sitting up there wrapped up if I wanted to put up another uh, solar panel. Uh, and then, because this is how life goes, everything becomes a catch-all. And there's a, like a bin down there with a bunch of stuff. I should probably just toss all that stuff because I never use it. Um, so there's this. Oh, yeah, here's the other butcher block um, that I took out. I guess I could use this maybe on the outside, you know, hang it from the outside. Um, I always keep that window open just for sort of ventilation. Uh, keep it cool in there. Uh, bathroom. I love this bathroom so much. Um, I do have that bucket in there cause it's got a hose, um, and some, some Clorox that I put in to the toilet. So this is just a simple, simple toilet, fill up the water, you know, pump it. The top part comes off and then the bottom is the actual tank and you just dump the tank. Very, very easy. Clothing. There's the original light right there. Uh, I put the shower curtain on here. I I like this shower curtain. I've been made fun of, but I like it. And I like it because it is it is sheer, but I mean, sorry ladies, I'm a man, so I don't need to worry about the waist up. But the reason I did this is because I have small kids, 
I want to be able to see if they're getting into trouble. Um, and then have a little, a little privacy, I guess, but, um, they could play outside and I could still watch them as I, as I took a, a shower because I'm a, I'm a single dad. Um, you know, soap container, all that good stuff. So, um, let me turn that water on. There we go. All right. Turn that off. turn that off. I don't want that on. So I'll fold the, the bed down here in just a second. Um, so in the back I've got, I've used these clips all around the bus. These are really cheap from Amazon, but I have, I have sheets that, um, that can block the sun. So underneath, like everything else becomes a catch-all. Um, uh, but that's my water system right there. I think I have a YouTube video on, on how it works, but essentially this looks a little complicated, but um, you could pause the video. Water comes up from the tank below, 40 gallon tank, and it's pumped through the system. There's three shutoffs, one, two, three. This is open, this is closed, this is closed. So the water can come in and pump through the system, not go out back through, can go through the system and also go through this into the water heater that is open for hot water. This valve is closed so the water does not get pumped down back into the tank. If I want to fill the tank, I will close this valve, open this valve, so the water is pumped through, doesn't go back, down into the tank, comes in. The water could go into the system, which is fine, build up pressure if the, the uh, valves at the sink and the bathroom are closed, obviously, continue to go down into the tank to fill it up. And then I could shut that off if I wanted to, but that's normally always open. I can fill the tank this way through this hose uh, as sort of an emergency, but I've, I've never had to do that. This stays open because it operates uh, as airflow for when the tank is, you know, emptying or, or filling. That's how the, so there's no suction. There's two cords that come in from the uh, generator. One is connected into the water heater and the other runs AC cord. These are just, these are extra cords. So disregard all that. And that cord goes into the, the um, where's this charging station area? Uh, and I can either connect it into, like directly into the um, the air conditioning unit or whatever else I want in here. So uh, if I want to charge the batteries, <coughs> excuse me, I can do that as well through the uh, generator and not the solar. But since I got the solar, I sort of pulled that out. I can hook it back up if I wanted to, but um, you know, if, if you if you know how that works, I can do that as well. Uh, so I just wanted as many options as I could for, for that, um, for that power there, uh, from the generator. So I can, I could feed the water heater directly and something else, or just both or either or whatever. So I've got, I've got two cords there. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, um, latch the bed. I can latch the bed here to here through this, but I had to, I had to use my carabiner for something else. So I pulled this off and, um, I love these straps. I've, I've got 20 of these straps, so I'm always using them for something. Bungee cords, extra storage up top here. Can never have too much storage. Let me just pop this off and pull the bed down. So, bed is latched.
over there. You see that? It's latched up there, bolted into the metal. And the other side, that same cord that latches is, keeps up this side of the bed here with this bolt. There we go. And I'm 165 pounds. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping on this corner. It, it's not, it, it's so secure. Uh, there's that AC unit. So if you're a person who loves the cold, that's, you can just sit, sit next to it in the summers. Um, plenty of sunlight if you want it. Um, these are the old, my old mattresses for my, for my toddlers. I kept them. They're, they're bigger than that now. They're, they're almost five, but I kept these cause these are actually, these are wonderful. I use one, I sort of smush it up here to, to block the sun, but since it's so cold, I just, I leave that sunlight coming in to heat up the bus. But I, I use this other one for that window, block the sun just because I can. I put in a second switch for these lights so I can turn on the dimmer for these lights, read if I want to, and then shut the light off when I'm ready to go to sleep. <coughs> You'll notice there's a port right there that's uh, for ethernet. I have ethernet running from there to the front corner of the bus and then down and over and there's a there's a 50 foot yellow ethernet cable just in case I want to hardwire to somewhere I'm parked <laughs> and not use Wi-Fi. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, uh, I have a second one of these lights, which is great. Um, so I talked about water, bathroom, power, batteries, battery system. <clears throat> Heaters, so there's two heaters that, that do work, one at the at the foot, uh, or uh, next to my feet in the driver's seat, and then the step heater, those those work. Um, this will heat the bus in 15 minutes. It's a it's a 25 foot bus. Um, from here to the back, I think is 17, 18 feet. So interior space is not very large. This video has been running almost 18 minutes and bus is almost heated. Uh, AC units, so I've got the AC unit in the back and then this one as well. So the that AC unit is also can be plugged up th uh, directly with the generator. So the generator can run that AC unit and this AC unit at the same time. Keeps the bus very chill in the summers. I think that's it. Trash can, uh, road flares some more of these wonderful clips this can come down so I can shade yeah I can fold it up and shade half I can fold it over and shade half I can just roll it up clip it up put the whole thing down shade the whole side if it's just you know if you're driving whatever north or south and it's just blaring sun in your eyes um, uh, so there's dome lights like I said um, I left some of these I don't really use them step wall heater driver heater defrost, um, left and right fans. The only thing that doesn't work mechanically is the fuel gauge. So, I mean, that sucks a little bit, but you know, just keep track of your miles and, you know, fill up every time you stop. You should be, should be fine. I've, no, I've never run out of gas or diesel. Um, fake turf because it's nice to wipe your feet off before you get in. Mm. I think that's it. So if you have any if you have any questions just you know let me know.